Okay, so today we're going to be finishing up our masks. Um, one thing that I do want to show you, if you have your water on the opposite side of your paints, you're constantly going to be dripping over your mask to get to the paint. You might drip paint on your mask in places you don't want it. You might drip water on your mask in places you don't want it. So the best thing is to put the water and the paint set on the same side of your desk, okay? Um, I'm going to have this paint set. Now, this paint set my kids destroyed. Does anybody know how it got this bad? Does anybody want to raise their hand and tell me how this paint set got to the point where it's pretty much past the point of no return? Hopefully by now somebody said that they did not wash their brush between paints. So every time you change a color, you have to wash your brush in the water first before you go into another color. Now you might forget. You absolutely might forget. Sometimes I even forget to wash my brush in between switching colors. So then you have a paper towel and in wet paint, you just wipe it out and then it should be good. It does waste some of the paint when you have to do this, but and it might not be perfect after you wipe it out, but usually if it's still wet and you wipe it out, it will go back to being good. So having a piece of paper towel by where you're working is a good thing. Now I'm gonna use these paints over here I'm only going to use the colors that you have though. So I'm going to have this up top, this up top, because if I want to mix colors, I can mix them on here. You can also mix them right on your mask if you want, but it's totally up to you. So if you made a mistake last time, you can paint over it. Whenever, let me show you, whenever I'm going to put some water in the green and roll like spaghetti. Hopefully you remember to roll like spaghetti. So if I wanted to change this blue to green, it's not going to change into a true green because what's going to happen is when I touch it with the wet brush, it's going to reactivate the blue paint that was already on there. And so the green is going to mix with the blue and create like a, a greenish blue, a turquoise, if you will. Okay, so it's not going to be a true green. If you made a mistake, you're, you can go over it and you can um, make it into something else. But it's not the exact color. Okay, if, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to go back and do that. That's a little greener because the... The um, blue is a little lighter. This blue is really, really light. So if I go into the green, roll like spaghetti, I always go with my brush on its side and roll like spaghetti. And then I'm going to go into this. Since that's such a light blue, there's not much pigment. There's not much paint, not much color in that. So it does turn to kind of a green. Kind of a nice green, like a Kelly green. Okay, so that is that. I have to do this last one just to show that it is a pattern still, but now it's going green, purple, green, purple, green, purple. Okay, for symmetry, I would have to do the same thing on this side, but I don't want to waste your time. So now what I'm going to do is the middle. So we are finishing our mask today. So you are going to paint the middle part using whatever colors you want. Um, I will have white crayons on my cart in case you want to make little designs. Um, so after I'm speaking, you have the whole rest of the period to paint your entire mask. When you are done, there should be no white space spaces except for the eyes. The eyes don't should remain white or if you painted them we are eventually going to be cutting those out cutting those out so you don't have to paint them <coughs> um okay so that's pretty much it i'm gonna put my camera on time lapse so that i you can see that i do this super quick
Okay, so a couple of things that I did want to show you is if you go around to a place and you paint where another place is wet and you go over the line to the other color, like let me show you. If I was painting around here and I accidentally went over the line a little bit, see how that red is coming into the yellow? Let me see if I could get a closer shot of that. See how the red is, ble we call that bleeding into the yellow. So that happened over here. Um, if you want, you can take a paper towel and you can press it in there. Sometimes it e erases what you just did. Sometimes it doesn't. So um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So if you want to get rid of it, you can always wait for it to dry and then you can go ahead and paint over it and it makes it a little less like you went over the lines, but it's still gonna be there. And nobody's perfect, so it's okay. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is your brush usage. So if you are using the brush correctly, it's like a ballerina that is only dancing on her toes. Okay, so you shouldn't be bashing your brush down and wiggling it around like that. If I do see that, I might give you a warning only on her toes. If I give you a warning and then I see that you're bashing my nice brushes down again, I will probably trade your brush for a harder brush that can take that kind of abuse because I don't want to ruin my really good brushes if you're not going to pay attention to directions and treat the materials with respect. So I hope I don't see that. I hope if I give you a warning, it just um, reminds you and I don't have to replace your brush. If I do have to replace your brush, you're just going to get a brush that um, is a little more, uh, can withstand harm a little bit more. The bristles will actually be plastic instead of nice bristles that'll that'll flow very easily. And when you have those brushes, they're so hardcore that if you go really hard, you're going to make a, um, you might, if you go really hardcore in the same place, you might make a hole in your mask. And I saw some people that were painting over the same spot over and over again, even with the good brushes, made like like took some paper off. When you see little dritzels of, of rolled up paper, that's what's happening. So you're taking some of the paper off and eventually it's going to be a hole if you keep doing that. So if you see the little dritzels of paper, just stop, stop painting that. Call me over if you're having a problem. I will help you out with whatever problem it is and we can figure it out together. So today we are just finishing painting our mask. It should look something like this where everything is colored in except for the eyes. You should have no white spaces except for the white crayon designs that you made. So if you have any white spaces, you can go back, you can double check and go back and take care of those white spaces with a little bit of paint. I hope everybody has fun today. Bye. One more thing that I forgot to say, when you are done at cleanup, you're going to take your mask. You're going to put it on the top of my cart. There should be a whole pile or a folder where you're putting it on the top of my cart. Then you're gonna come back to your desk. You're going to take your paints that are open and you're going to put them on the top of my cart in that box where all the other paints are that are open. When you are carrying this through the classroom, remember to carry it like it is full of water because it's full of water and paint. So if you closed it up like this and then walked like this with it, you would be dripping paint all over your classroom and then you would be responsible for cleaning that up. So make sure you put it with the top open in in the box on top of my cart so it can dry out as much as possible for the next class. Then your water cups. You do not have to dump your water cups in the sink. You just take them with their water very carefully. Watch where you are going, whether you have water or not, because some people are gonna be walking with these water cups. So you take the water cup, you put it in the yellow bin on the middle of my cart. What's the last thing? Who remembers what the last thing is? 
You already put away your mask. You already put away your paints. You already put away your water cup. Your brush. You take your brush. You put it in the middle of my cart. There is a white bin that is well, not really white because it's been splattered with paint, but it says dirty brush bin. You put it brush side down into the water in the dirty brush bin. And then you wipe up your table. If you have to wipe up your table, some of you were very neat last week and did not have to wipe up their tables. But if there is a spill on your table, absolutely, that happens. Wipe it up at the end of class. If you do finish early, way more early than everybody else, way before I even call for cleanup, what do you do? Hopefully somebody said you do free draw because we want to give everybody the same amount of time or however much time that they need to finish their mask. So after you finish, if you are early, if I have not called for cleanup, then you have all your stuff put away, you can go ahead and do free draw. Free draw paper is on the bottom of my cart, and there are also step-by-step -step books if you want to borrow one. You do not have to borrow one. You can do things from your imagination as well. But the paper is definitely on the bottom of my cart. Okay, have fun. Bye, guys.